In this problem, we're going to use the direct comparison test to determine whether this infinite series converges or diverges. So before we use the direct comparison test, it's really important to look at this intuitively and try to decide what we think. Should it converge or should it diverge? So you'll notice that the 3 to the m plus 1 here, um, you can think about this piece as follows. You can think of this as 2 to the n over 3 to the n. And the reason you can do that is because when n is really big, the factor adding 1 to 3 to the n makes no difference at all. So you can ignore the lower degree terms and the constants. And this is really 2 thirds to the n. So this series kind of behaves like a geometric series with r equals 2 thirds. And remember, if this is less than 1 in absolute value, the series converges. So this behaves like a convergent geometric series. So therefore, we should know that we're trying to show convergence. So now let's use direct comparison to try to show convergence. So to use direct comparison to show convergence, you always just write this down. So 2 to the n over 3 to the m plus 1. And you want to show that this is less than the terms of something that will converge. So when you're showing convergence, you put a less than here. When you're showing divergence, you put a greater than there. That's, that's how I do it. Um, I pretty much have it memorized. If I'm trying to show convergence, I write this down and I put a less than. If I'm trying to show divergence, I write this down and I put a greater than. That's how it works. So notice that you can drop the one because this fraction is smaller than this one because this number here on the bottom, 3 to the n plus 1, is bigger than 3 to the n, and this is 2 thirds to the n. So now we have to explain why the sum of these terms converges. So and, if we take the sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of 2 thirds to the n, this is a convergent, it's a beautiful problem, geo series since, and let's explain why, since r is 2 thirds, and let's be really, really pedantic here. The absolute value of r is less than 1. The reason I did that is because sometimes r could be negative, so r is like negative 2 thirds, so you really want to emphasize that in absolute value it has to be less than 1. So we have that this is less than this. And if you add all of these guys up, you get a convergent geometric series. Therefore, by the direct comparison test, our original series should also converge. So thus, our original series, so I'll just say OG, OG means original series, converges, converges by the direct comparison test. I'll just say by the DCT. It is extremely important to completely spell everything out when you're working on problems like this. Justify everything carefully, and it's almost like a little mini mathematical proof. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.